After almost a decade on the run, the long arm of the law finally caught up with him. Asia's most wanted terrorist fugitive was hunted down and killed under a withering hail of gunfire. Nordin Mohammed Top was a hardened terrorist for his last breath. He held on to his ill-conceived notion of waging jihad in the name of Islam. But the chilling evidence of the detailed and nonchalant planning behind the July bombings in Jakarta pointed to an unapologetically violent extremist who instead of exalting the virtues of Islam, used it as a vehicle to realize his murderous intention. How could Islam be hijacked and its reputation tarnished by a group of radicals? Dulu memang ada kekerasan misalnya Darul Islam, JITI, tapi itu internal. Nah, di Indonesia, kekacauan itu ketika muncul trans ideology, transnational ideology, pertama komunisme yang mengakibatkan peristiwa berdarah-darah, sekarang dilarang. Yang kedua, ideologi Islamism yang juga datang dari luar. Darul Islam, or DI, was founded by Sekamaji Marijan Kato Suwiro in 1942. Its influence on subsequent radical groups like Jamar Islamia can be seen from its early attempts to set up an Islamic state in Indonesia. However, unlike DI, which can find itself to a purely domestic struggle, Jamar Islamia, or JI, subscribes to transnational radical ideology of Al-Qaeda, which aspires to establish a caliphate in the Muslim regions of Southeast Asia. Ideologi kekerasan ini, ideologi Al-Qaeda yang diusungnya, itu sangat mudah dicerna di dalam pikiran orang awam. Ya, dia hanya punya satu doktrin klasik, klasik doktrin yang bunyinya uh, al-mukminin atau al-kafir jadi kamu, uh, orang kita Islam atau kafir? tengah-tengah tidak Follow radical ideology, hold on to a dogmatic binary worldview those who do not subscribe to their worldview are regarded as enemies, including the Muslims The biggest threat right now facing the world is arguably uh, from the point of view of terrorism and radicalization from that particular perspective is the 
the threat of the Al-Qaeda ideology which uh, portrays the world as locked in a cosmic uh, struggle between uh, the global Islamic community, uh, the global Muslim community and an international conspiracy led essentially by the US and Israel. One important character of the, of the ideology of Al-Qaeda and Jihad is what I call or I term as absolutism. Because of this absolutism, there is no acceptance to diversity. There is no tolerance to uh, differences. And I think this is very, very wrong as far as Quran is concerned. Because the study of the Quran shows that uh, God intentionally created this universe uh, in diversity, even uh, in religious position. Globalisasi, di mana informasi sebagian terlanjang yang bisa dilihat, itu kita negara manapun itu tidak akan imun dengan penetrasi ideologi-ideologi yang mereka ini memberikan menurut mereka imaginary community yang lebih bagus masyarakat komunitas masyarakat yang dibayangkan akan lebih baik yaitu itulah yang kemudian mereka itu melakukannya dengan apapun dan yang kedua gerakan mereka itu adalah sifatnya transnasional yang mereka itu bisa berbagi baik secara ilmu resources sumber daya dan juga taktik gitu loh The ability of transnational radical groups like Jamar Islamia to create terrorist cells within the region constitutes a 